Hey beautifuls, I'm just Jackie is here. Y'all see me beautiful. Y'all see me with this wig cap on. So y'all already know what this video is all about. This video is a wig review. And the wig is called Donna. It is the Outre Lace Front Donna. And the color that I have is DX2327. And I got this from, y'all already know, wigtypes.com. I am a huge fan of wigtypes.com. If y'all ain't checked out wig, wigtypes.com, what are you waiting for? You missing out? I'm going to leave their website in the description box below, okay? And again, this is the lace front wig called Donna and it's by Al Tule. Al Tule. See that? Al Tule. Alright. Now, guys, I don't have the card stock card anymore. The, the stock card anymore. I've had this wig for almost a year now and honestly, I just wore it uh, for the first time a few weeks ago. I, I know I say this every video. I know I sound like a broken record. If you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> you would have already seen it. You know what I'm saying? So go follow me on Instagram if you haven't. So anyway, um, but yeah, I just want to come up here and tell my beautifuls about this wig. Um, this is what she is looking like. She's a su she is super curly, y'all. She I would probably classify her as a. I ain't, I'm not going to classify her because I have no clue. <laughs> But, I don't know, what do y'all think? Like a 3A? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking, like a 3A. If you want to if you wanna go off of that um, terminology, maybe it's a 3A, okay? And, um, you know, it's a color mixture. Um, I think I said 1B, didn't I? Did I say 1B? Well, it says DX2327. But let me put it in my terminology. To me... It's more like a 1B with um with the 20 like I said with the 27 which is kind of like an arboring-ish color. Okay? So now so I'm just Jackie's here to give it to you, baby. Um so I didn't snatch a wig off in this video because I already had it off. So but this wig is constructed, you know, normal wig cap giving it all to you guys normal wig cap construction it does have an l part it has three combs i believe yeah actually no it has mm, has four combs i'm sorry it has one right here on each side of where the l part is then it has another one off further to the side and then it definitely has a comb in the back right and it also has the handy dandy adjustable straps. You know, the usual, y'all, the usual. But she don't want to focus right now. Yeah. So, anywho. But, you know, pretty standard. Um, pretty standard for, you know, most wigs or whatever. Well, most lace fronts. Because some wigs don't come with, come with combs at all. I mean, just like a regular wig. This is a lace front. So, I haven't seen a lace front that don't have a comb. Now, I don't take my combs out. I don't, you know, remove my combs from the wigs. That's just my preference. Because I know, you know, some of my other sisters out there, they do remove their combs. So, everybody has their preference. But, um, I will say this. I did get this wig because I saw my sister Rakesha, who is Simply Key, here on YouTube. Um, she had like a blonde, uh a blonde one i can't remember if it was two-tone but i definitely remember it had more blonde in it than anything so i know what y'all are waiting for y'all are waiting for me to put this wig on i can't really give you too much info beautifuls again i lost the the card um the card that comes with the wig um I know it's an, it definitely is synthetic. I'm not sure about heat, but my thing is, why would you want to put heat on it? It's already super curly. What, you want to straighten it out? Why? I don't know. Just buy a straight wig. That's what I say. But, um, soup, I'm a fan of this wig, y'all. Um, I didn't do much with her because, uh, I don't 
think I'm about that life no more. <laughs> I don't, um, I'm kind of with simplicity right now. Y'all know I normally come up here, give y'all like five different ways to uh, rock, rock a wig. And right about now, in my mind, less is more. Less is more, baby. So, here's the wig. It does have like the ear tab, so it helps you with the placement of the wig. And... I didn't do anything with the parting. I didn't pluck it. Normally what I do is I would get up in the morning, slick my edges down like so, and let her lay where she lay. You know, I it, it, this honestly the wig is effortless. The wig speaks for itself, okay? And I I will say this, I'm going to insert pictures so y'all can see the, the different looks I did do with this wig. I only did like I think I only did like two different looks. It was this one right here. And then like I said, I'll insert the pic with the other look because it was just basically pinned up, you know. And honestly, I guess I had it pinned up so well that my work husband had to ask me, um, is that the same wig? <laughs> he said it looks, he, I was like, yeah, it's the same wig. He was like, well, damn, it looks different. I, I was a like, hubby. I had her pinned up. I had her tucked and pinned. Um, you know, just doing what she do. But yeah, so either way was I liked it either way, either either or the, you know, you know. I at first when I put this on, I wasn't feeling the big curls. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. You know, because I'm just jacking love her some big hair and everything. But I don't know, this wasn't calling me at first. But yeah, y'all. Uh, like I said, normally I would just slick it down, do like a little, and now put like a little concealer thingy right there just to bring it out a little bit more. I was, I'm fine with the part itself, the parting of the part. I didn't pluck it. I rarely pluck, pluck my parts in my wigs at all. You know, it has to be something real major um, for me to pluck it out. I just kind of work around it and keep it moving. I'm just not that girl. I'm just not that girl. I'm not that girl. I love simplicity. But sometimes, you know, plucking is a necessity. I know. Y'all see me glistening. I'm, I'm hot flashing a little bit. But yeah, y'all, this is Donna. Again, Donna Outre lace front. Um, it did come with about an inch and a half of lace front, um, you know, on the, on the wig. I just trimmed it all the way down as close as I could get it to, you know, the hairline of the wig um and the cool part about it is you the reason why you want to try to clip try to trim it as close as you can to the hairline is so that it kind of it blends better y'all see me sweating y'all mm -hmm. girl hot flashes is not my friend you hear me not my friend but um but yeah it just it, it makes it look like it's growing out of your scalp okay get it as close as you can I don't really like sitting my wigs right on my hairline. I like to have it back a little bit. Because like I said, because y'all can see where it's sitting. It's not sitting right on. Either you want to put it, either you want to place your wig in front of your hairline. Or you want to put it back away, you know, back away from right at your, your hairline. Because we're all about saving edges, right? Save your edges. Save your edges. Either bring it forward past your hairline or back a little bit, you know, away from your hairline. Save your edges, boo-boo. Save them. Save them. Because for a wig lover like me and some of my other sisters that I know, that's that's what we do. We save the edges. It's either you a little bit in the front or a little bit in the back. Save them edges. So anyway, but tell me it ain't, tell me it's not growing for my scalp. Tell me. Tell me it's not growing for my scalp. Okay, exactly. You're not you not gonna tell me this ain't growing for my scalp. No, you're not gonna tell me. So anyway, beautifuls, what more can I tell you about this beautiful unit? I love the color. I love like they blended the color like perfect. It ain't too much. They got just the right amount of color popping in this wig. And then let me just um show you the back. Now, I might be kind of jacked up a little bit. I, I'm, I hope I got all the straight pins out from when I had it pinned up, you know. So, this is what the back looks like, okay. Nice length, a little bit past the shoulder, you know. So, you know, you know, you, somebody call your name. You just 
turn around. You, you know, you, that hair whoops back with it. <laughs> yes, whoops back, baby. Yes. I'm, oh, did you? Excuse me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> did you call me? Oh, yeah, girl. Really? No, 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 no. This is when you know you're cute. You know. Yeah. What? Oh, baby, no. What is you doing, honey? This is what I do when I be having my hot flash moment. Girl. Girl. They don't know nothing. They thinking this shit growing out of my scalp, y'all. They don't know. Push back. <laughs> what? It's not growing out of my scalp? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Girl, bye. Mm, yeah. So anyway, y'all. I will say this. You know, normally when you cut the lace front, sometimes you get shedding. Baby, this wig barely sheds, and it won't even it won't even about trimming the lace front. It just this wig barely sheds. It's tangled up a little bit only because again, y'all know like y'all know I play with my wigs. Like I manipulate it. I do different styles. I tuck it. I pin it. Whatever. When I was out of town, I had it all coming over to one side and tucked it and bob bobby pinned it to death. You know, I did that. And everything so when the more you play with it you know sometimes it, it tangles it will sometimes the hair will have a tendency to tangle but as you can see I'm just finger detangling right here as I'm talking to y'all that's all I'm doing I'm just finger detangling okay so of course when you finger detangle you might have can y'all see that I can't can y'all see that you might have a little bit of shedding you know but it's nothing major so at the end of the day i'm just jackie really likes this wig y'all really likes this wig i guess i'm giving pam greer <laughs> foxy brown whatever pick one she the same person <laughs> i know yeah but yeah i really like this wig y'all it's it's fun carefree and free flow and i and yeah, no, I love me some big hair. And it's affordable. It's very affordable, y'all. I want to say I paid, I know I paid less than $25 for this wig. It might have been about $22 or whatever. Y'all not listening to I'm Just Jackie. Wigtypes.com stays with a sale. The same wigs y'all see at your beauty supply store, you can get those same wigs at wigtypes.com or another wig uh online wig store you know just get the name of the wig go to wigtypes.com type it in if they have it it'll pull it up instead of y'all paying like 30 40 60 dollars for the same unit you can go on wigtypes.com and pay like 22 dollars <laughs> and keep it moving yeah they're shipping but lies to you not it will still be cheaper even when you pay the shipping. Because here's my thing. if When I buy from wigtypes.com, it's very rarely I only buy one wig. I normally buy two to three at a time. I'll get free shipping. So I'm winning. <laughs> one way or the other. I'm winning. 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 So, yeah, I think that's all I got to say about this wig, beautiful. Because I'm just like, just staring at myself in this camera and all. <laughs> and all. But always remember, secure your wigs. No, I didn't put no bobby pins in it in this video. This is just for review purposes. But, baby, secure your wigs, okay? So, until the next video, beautifuls. Deuces. I'll leave the link in the description for this wig, too, y'all. Yeah. All right. Bye.